Now, um, you are very much involved, actually you are instrumental in the, uh, in the creation and also in the continuation of the task force for disaster relief. I must say that uh, I'm also involved in that, as you know, that some, still some other famous nephrologists are quite skeptical about this whole affair, about this initiative of the ISN Commission on Acute Renal Failure. I know you're in favor of it, uh, but why should they remain skeptical? Do you have any idea about that? I think that uh, uh, the other people are really looking at the nephrologist as a person who would sit in an easy chair and do the dialysis when necessary, to give the orders, to be in his castle, in his ivory tower. And my background dictates to me that if you want really to do anything, you've got to go into the field, give the infusions right there and then before you save or before you take out the body of the patient mm -hmm. from the rubble mm -hmm. or from the earthquake, from whatever disaster that mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. And that's why I urged Kim Solis that we should not become only people who would come late. Mm -hmm. We want to come early. Mm -hmm. We want to play a part in the prevention. Mm -hmm. We want to know, we want to deal with the acute phase of the injury and not stand by and do only dialysis as technicians. Mm -hmm. And this will bring us to something which is quite a political of political importance. Is acute renal failure go going to be treated by intensivists without the nephrologist? And that's a problem because if you stand back, there is no vacuum in life. Immediately it's taken by someone else. And the people, the intensivists, whoever it is, is going to take over. I think the nephrologist is going to be important if he wants to keep his acute renal failure field, he has got to go to the field, to the site of injury, to give the infusion, to make the diagnosis, to prevent acute renal failure. I have a feeling that you're not going to uh, need dialysis in disasters. I have a feeling that our task force should aim more at the prevention. Mm -hmm. And the prevention, beside the well-known infusions and manitol, which worked for m so many years, mm -hmm. we have a new instrument, and that's the natriuretic agents, the atrial natriuretic peptide, what is called auriculin, mm -hmm. and better still, the urodilatin. Mm -hmm. The Hanover group is using urodilatin to prevent acute renal failure in liver transplants. Why shouldn't we use it? Mm. It's true that we should not use the disaster area as um, an experimental ground. Mm. But you know something? I think within a year or two, this is not going to be experimental. And I have a feeling that this is an answer to acute renal failure. So that I want to keep this within nephrology. 